So how did you guys come across this house? Well, Sherry is a fan of the Facebook page for the love of old houses. And I had just come in from work and she, when I came in, she said, well, there's a house down in Georgia that I want to go look at. And I said, where's it at? She said, well, it's near Savannah. So we're like, okay, well, let's go. So we came down here, we drove down here um, from North Carolina and the next, day. the next day and we got here and there was a nice realtor lady who was showing the house to somebody else. And we asked her, we're like, well, we just drove from North Carolina. Is there any chance that you could show us the house? And she said, yeah, I have about 20 minutes. So that's how we got to see the house and found out about it was from the Love of Old Houses on Facebook. So it was just like a stroke of luck that a realtor was here when you guys showed it up was. to check it out. It was, because we there could have been nobody here when we got here. And so. if no one had been here, we would have second guessed and drove home and said, well, it's probably ratty on the inside. So it was a miracle, I feel. Yeah, I think so too. So what did this house used to be? Well, it was originally the vacation home of, of Robert Quarterman Cas uh, Castle. This was his vacation home, and he lived down near Midway, Georgia. And so they came up here because it was elevated, it was cool, so the breeze could, could blow through because it was the highest point around that they could find, and that's why they put the their house here. We, we think it's a lucky house, too, because it's been through like 80 hurricanes. 80 hurricanes? 80, because I researched it, because right before I saw this house, we had just gotten over Florence, and that was pretty devastating. I, I mean, it didn't didn't hurt our house, but I didn't want to get something and love it and have it be ruined, especially okay. with all the trees. Mm -hmm. When was the first moments that you guys realized that there was something weird going on inside this house? Probably one of the first nights that we were in the house. I smelled bacon, then we smelled tobacco. Upstairs. Like a pipe or... mm -hmm. I was like, are you cooking bacon it anywhere in the house? It was obvious. And yeah, it was like, wow, I wonder what, <laughs> somebody like to cook bacon here. So like, what, what was your first thoughts when that was going on? You, like, did you come down here to check out what that was? Or did you think it was maybe something coming from a breeze or something or? No, all the windows were shut upstairs. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you would just walk in the bedroom, that's where you would get this whiff of the, uh, of the smoke, uh, the pipe smell. I don't know why it was there. I don't know where it was coming from, but all the windows are shut. They don't, we don't even open the windows. So it well, must have just- Some of them don't just, even open. So. Yeah, right, some of them don't even open. So we just think that's where, where it was at. So. Besides smells, what else are you guys experiencing here? Occasionally we'll hear the doorknobs move, mm -hmm. especially the ones upstairs. And sometimes you actually hear the doors move back and forth. And I've heard footsteps on the uh, staircase I've been here at night and heard footsteps on the staircase. And the last time we were here, you thought I was talking to you, remember? That's right, yep. Yeah. Last time I thought Sherry was talking to me, and it must have been another voice that I heard, but it wasn't hers. Because you said, um, did you say something? Yeah, I was I like, no. Mm -mm. So. so have you guys ever had any other paranormal teams or come in here and check out the place? And if, they, if so, what kind of stuff have they captured? Well, we have. Uh, we've had um, a paranormal team come in. Their name Off Grid Paranormal and they've come in and done an investigation, two investigations, and they've captured uh, various noises, various voices, and various other sounds in the house. Okay, Sherry can take the next shift. Now we can go take the next When we first arrived here, you had mentioned something about a blanket upstairs. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? The upstairs bedrooms, um, my wife has put velvet blankets at the ends of the beds in case somebody comes and spends the night, they get cold, they have another blanket they can put on. Well, on these velvet blankets, they're very impressionable and you can, you know, just touch it and you'll, you'll have your hand on it. Um, the one that is directly above uh, the living room here, we had what appeared to be, I think, impressions of little kid feet that we, I was doing, we always do a walk around in the house before we go somewhere. And I told Sherry, I'm like, you need to come see this. And as she made her way up there on that velvet, it looks like that velvet blanket, there looks like little, little feet. And we thought we'd heard some knocking noises up there because this happened while we were sleeping because this was in the middle of the night. So do you think like there's like children's spirits here? What kind of spirits do you think there is? I feel like there are, um, because those pictures there, there's um, big families lived here, and so I, I feel like there's little kids everywhere. I mean, I mean, I just, I don't feel like there's anything mean. I feel like they want us here. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It's it sounds kind of crazy to say out loud, but 
and it's not um, like it was meant to be, and they wanted us to have the house. Like a yeah. connection to the house, mm -hmm. sort yes. of. Okay. Yeah. And a few months ago, um, we had just woken up, and I had gone. I had gone to the kitchen to make coffee, and when I came back into the bedroom, Sherry's like, "I'm not by myself," and I'm like, "What do you mean you're not by yourself?" And she said that she felt four knocks on the bed. I thought it was him playing with. No, me. I was in the kitchen. And I thought he was trying to wake me up. And I feel like it was probably a little kid, because she used to be an elementary school teacher too. Mm -hmm. And maybe that was a little kid trying to, you know, hey, yeah, yeah. come on, get up, let's do something. <laughs> and the previous owner, um, her son, his room is the one that had the pink velvet blanket. And she said he didn't like to sleep in that room with the lights off because he felt like there was something up there with him, maybe a little kid. You were showing us something about the little bootleg, you know, they're called bootlegger holes, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, can you, t you just mention something about one of those rooms? Is that the same room you're talking about? Or? No, that's a different room. The blue room, uh, the one that has the chimney in it upstairs, that one has a bootlegger panel in it. And so uh, the previous lady that sold us the house, that was her daughter's room. And she told us that her daughter did not like to sleep in that room and would have nightmares if that bootlegger panel was open. So they always kept it shut with something on top of it. And that's so. also when it was open, when they investigated, said yes. that all kind of crazy stuff was happening. The things they were happening. Kind of weird vibes and right, so we don't know the whole reasoning why this panel up there, it's open or closed, causes things. So you're saying that when, when this panel on the floor is open, it seems to it, be creating more paranormal activity. It does, yeah. Okay. Did you put a new battery in it? Yeah. That happens here, just yeah, to let you know. it drains everything. Off-grid off was having that problem too. So I, I had just replaced a battery in this camera that India is standing behind here shooting me and it only lasted 13 minutes and about 30 seconds or so. Um, so sorry about that. It's okay. So when we first arrived here, Wes, you had actually showed us something really unique that I don't think India and I have ever seen at a place when we've gone to for investigations. You showed us that there's the front door over here has like a mirror of some sort. Uh, that's right. The front door has a mirror. Uh, there's various windows in the house that have mirrors also. Um, and basically what had happened was is uh, the nice lady we bought the house from, her mom put those on the windows in the belief that if any dark spirits, I guess, are walking around outside the house in the that's area, enough. if they look in the, mirror, the, the window and see their face in the mirror, they will not come into the house. And it's, it's supposed to protect the house. We're going to be staying here tonight, and you guys had mentioned that there is another part of this house that's not actually connected to where we are at. You have to go out on the porch to get to it, and you call it the pastor's house? We do. it. Um, one of the investigators from Off Good Paranormal, he named it the pastor's room, and we thought, that's a good name, so we're going to stick with that. So that room was added, we think, about in the 1890s. And it was for the visiting pastors of the First Presbyterian Church, which is about a half mile away from here. The original owner of this house had a hand in founding the church down the street. So he put that room on the side of the house for when the pastors would show up back in the 18, late 1800s, early 1900s. They would have a place to stay while they were, I guess, preaching at the church down the street. It's completely separate from the house. It is attached to the house, but you cannot enter the main house through that room. It's really weird. You also mentioned that there's something that had happened, several things that have happened in that pastor's room. Uh, one of the things that we've had and heard are footsteps in the pastor's room, and we've also heard uh, knocking on the front door of the pastor's room. We were told that two people passed away in the room, so we think they may be in there somewhere. And the previous owner said her husband, because that was their master bedroom, that he was always, something would annoy him in the room, and we, we think it, she was thinking that it was a spirit that probably didn't like men. What is something that you guys hope that we can maybe find out tonight in our investigation here? I want to find out how many kids are hanging out here because I feel like they're everywhere. And I want to know if they're the ones that have been like tapping on the bed or making the prints or um, just, yeah. I just, I want to know, I feel a lot of stuff and I just want to know who's here. Yeah, just basically who's here with us when we're here. And it just seems like she's got some kind of connection to the house in some way, but I don't know what it is yet, other than she's a school teacher maybe, but. Why don't tonight for our investigation, you guys join us in our investigation? This is your house. You are obviously here for a reason. There's a connection of some sort between you guys in this house. Maybe you guys are good trigger objects yourselves, and we could maybe hopefully find some answers for you tonight. 
and see what exactly is in this house and what is causing all those things you guys are experiencing. Would you guys want to be part of our investigation here tonight? Sure. Yes, yes. Would love to. All right, well, it's getting dark. I think uh, we're going to stop our cameras here and get ready to set up for our investigation and go from there. All right, everyone, we are here in Flemington, Georgia, and we are standing in the yard just outside of this haunted old farmhouse. India, are you excited for tonight's investigation here? I am excited. I think it's gonna be very interesting to see what we get tonight. Um, I have a good feeling about this place. There's something about old houses that haven't been overly investigated that usually are a recipe for a lot of paranormal activity. I'm really looking forward to trying out different techniques and seeing which one works the best. And hopefully we can get some answers for these people and see who's here. The owners are in there right now. We're gonna be doing an investigation with them. They're gonna join us in the investigation. And we're going to start in the living room with the paranormal Leapock. Uh, and we're gonna run Ghost Tube and see if we can get some answers. I know that they had told us during the interview that they kind of want to find out if there's children here. Sherry thinks that there are children's spirits here because she has had stuff make her feel that way. And I kind of hope that we can get some answers tonight and find out exactly who or what exactly is haunting this house. All right, are you ready to go inside? Yeah, well, let's get inside and get started on our investigation. Okay, so right now we're in the living room and we're gonna do a Leapock session um, to see if we can get some more answers on who might be here. So we're gonna ask yes or no questions. So we're also gonna be running ghost tube just to see you know if we do get any answers if we can get a little bit more clarification through ghost tube so um, both of those together have worked really well for us in the past so let's give it a go okay if there's anybody here my name is India and this is Connor and I know that you know the owners Sherry and Wes we've just come here tonight to talk with you if that's okay we're not here to cause you any harm or make you um, entertain us. We just want to get to know you a little bit better and see if we can figure out who's here. So if anybody is here and willing to talk, can you let us know, please? We have two devices going on right now in this room that you can use to communicate with us. We have a device on this table called Ghost Tube. You can use that to tell us words or your name or anything of that sort. And we also have this box that's on this cabinet over here that you can answer yes or no questions with. Is there anybody here with us tonight? Green means yes and red means no. If you could light up the green light for us, we would greatly appreciate that. Thank you for doing that. Are you a woman? Are you a man? Good wonder, are you a child? <laughs> now we're just here simply tonight just to get to know your story of why you're here. That's all. Can you hear us? Do you like it that we're here trying to communicate with you tonight? If you don't want to use that device, can you go to this device on the table here and maybe tell us your name so we can properly address you? Late. Late? Late? Oh, is it too late to be visiting? If it's too late, are you a child? Should you be in bed? Sherry felt a connection to this house. Were they supposed to get this house?
You're listening. Yes, I'm listening. Everybody here is listening. What would you like to say? Push. Push. Like push what? What do you want us to push? Maybe you can tell us where you are in the house. Yes? Okay. Uh, yes or no? Are you downstairs with us? Are you upstairs? Are you outside? No? Wow, that's a long no. Do you know where you are? Are you in the pastor's room? Thank you, by the way, for using that device and communicating with us. We appreciate that. I hope you let us get to know you some more. Do you live here? Yes. Thank you for answering. Wow. That's a long yes. Wow, that was a long yes. Thank you for doing that. Are you happy with what Sherry and Wes have done with the house? Are you happy that they're here? We're gonna stop what we're doing right now and we're gonna have a, a way where you can go through India and communicate and tell us things. So we're gonna end this session with you real quick here. And we hope you further communicate with us in the next few minutes, all right? Okay, so right now we are doing the ESTA session. India is in the living room. We just got done doing an EPOC session and a ghost tube session in that room. We didn't get too many responses, but we're gonna to try to step up the level a little bit of far as asking questions. We've got the owners with us in the dining room in here, and India is gonna wear noise canceling headphones in the living room, so she will not be able to hear any of the questions that we're going to be asking. She may listen to a spirit box, um, and hopefully we can get some more answers as far as who exactly is here. So are you ready? Yep. All right, go ahead. So is there anybody here in the house with us tonight? Robert, Alice, Albert, are any of you here tonight with us? Jesus. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. She said Jesus, and you said that, that was a that's right. pastor would stay next. He would. I think the pastor's with us. And Robert was the one who helped with the church. Then he oh, was so he was the, the guy who built the house for the pastors. So built the side room for the pastors. So, can you tell us your name? We want to know who we're talking to right now. Excuse me. What is this? This is. If you're talking about what are we doing, this is an Estes session, and we're trying to communicate with you. We use it to communicate with spirits, those who no longer are alive anymore. Speak up. What was that? I can't go. She said, "Speak up." Yeah, she said, "Speak up." We can't leave. You can't leave. We can't leave. Who can? Are you stuck here? Who can't leave? Do you want us to leave? Would you like to tell us something? Church. You must be affiliated with that Presbyterian church down the street. Because we've got nothing but religious and biblical stuff so far. Did you have something to do with that church? Why? We would just like to know. Too late. Do you like it that we're here trying to communicate with you? that in this house what did you hear that 
It sounded like a howl or something. That wasn't your stomach that time? Well, one of them was. But one that was last one was. But I don't think that is not a howl. That's like a, a voice or a cat. Yeah, it, was, it sounded like a cat. A growl almost, like a growl. Yeah. Why don't you tell us something about yourself so we can kind of know something about you? Interesting. Hmm. He's looking. Good. Who's looking? <laughs> Who's looking? Ian. Oh, okay. Who is Ian? Who is Ian? Can you tell us his last name? Heart attack. Who had the heart attack? Ian? Are we looking for Ian because he had a heart attack? Is there anything else that we should know while we're having this conversation with you? You can make a noise upstairs or a knock if you don't want to talk through India anymore. You can make something fall over. Ian. Hi. Hi, Ian. Who is Ian? I don't know. Are you a kid or an adult? Just to make note on the camera, there's somebody outside blasting music. <laughs> That's like really loud. Is that a car going by? Welcome to the spirit world. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, that was a cool response. Yeah, I don't heard her say that. It's a big one, too. Uh, we'd like to know who left the uh, prints on the linen blanket upstairs. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you found us. Who? Who's us? Okay, we were just taking a break. Wes and I stepped over here to the pastor's room, which is connected to the house, but you have to go outside to the through the porch and through this door. And we decided to take a break and go live on TikTok. Um, we just got done doing the Estes session and we we're getting some responses. Um, but we weren't getting so much uh, communication with our devices that we were using. So we decided to set up a, uh, some devices in this room, a paranormal epoch, some, a REM pod, and some cat balls, and we were asking questions, and it seemed like there was a lot of stuff going on. And the reason why there's a lot of stuff that could be going on here, Wes, is because... There could be something in the room that just either doesn't like men or really likes men. So we were told that when there's guys in here, it seems to be more active for some reason, so. We left the equipment exactly how we had it when we were live on TikTok. So we're gonna turn it all back on again and turn off the lights in here and try to further communicate. And hopefully it still wants to communicate with us, whoever this is. So we're gonna turn on this equipment. Once again, we've got the Epoch right there, cap ball right here and a REM pod. There's some cap balls on the bed. All right, now we're gonna go dark. Oh, I hope I got that as I was walking. I don't know what that... You making that REM pod go off? That wasn't going off a minute ago. No, the REM pod wasn't. Okay, we just came back into this room. We appreciate you if that was you making the REM pod go off. It's just Wes and I in here now again. We hope you're still in here. We heard that there's a spirit in here that either likes or doesn't like men. We've got a device right here you may already know about that you can answer yes or no questions on. Do you like it when men are in this room? Green means yes and red means no. If you'd like to communicate with us, can you make one of those devices go off? Somebody was just using it just a minute ago. Do 
Is there a pastor in this room with us right now? Well, thank you for lighting that up. Yes, thank you. Were you the one that was just talking to us a minute ago? Oh, there's a cap on the bed going off. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Are you sitting on the bed right now? It's really going off. <laughs> Thank you for setting the uh, the cat ball off. Um, That's still going. Wow. Are you trying to tell us something? Are you trying to get our attention? Can you step away from that cat ball? Do you like that cat ball? <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> what are you trying to tell us? Are you trying to tell us something? Yes or no? Oh. It's gone. Oh, oh no. it's back now. It's back. Okay. Can you maybe roll that cap ball off the bed? Is that something you can do? It's like as if somebody is sitting on the bed right now. Yeah, that's what it that's what I think. Is that what's going on right now? Can you can you answer yes or no questions on that? Is there someone sitting on the bed where that cat ball's going off? It's still going. <laughs> Can you stop lighting that up for us real quick, that cat ball? Can you stop? I'm gonna reset that cat ball because it should not still be going off right now. Hey, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn it back on. Okay, if that was you lighting up the cat ball, making that thing go off like crazy, we really appreciate that. I'm gonna take out ghost tube, Wes. Okay. And we're gonna run ghost tube to see if we can hopefully. Oh, no, they don't want you, doesn't want no? you to do that. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I won't run, I won't take ghost tube out, never mind. <laughs> wow. Why don't you like ghost tube? Yeah, we can actually hear you, hear you say something then instead of lighting up these devices. It's funny, I said no to ghost tube. I think I might still take out ghost tube unless yeah. it shows me the red button again. Yeah, you should take it out. There is a red light on top of this little chest here. Um, if you would like to let us know that you are around us, you can walk over to that red light and interact with that red light if you like. Probably just said no, but I'm hoping that we just, it was a miscommunication. That's not what you were saying no about. So right now we're running this device called Ghost Tube. It's a device right there. It's got a dictionary inside of that device and it has a bunch of words. You can tell us things or tell us your name or further communicate with us with the other devices if you don't want to use that one. Can you tell us the name of the pastor and whom we're communicating with? We very much would like to know your name. True. True? Okay. That's funny, because true is also the same meaning as green, like yes or no. Like instead of it lighting up the green or the red button, yeah, it said true on the device. Oh. It said the green button, look at that. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, thank you very much. Do you like it that just the guys are over here? No. <laughs> Close. Close? Close. Are there children spirits here? Trash. Uh, what? Trash? Trash. So now you're, you, are you calling us trash? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. So have we, have we got the, the spirit that doesn't like the men now? I was just you laughing. You were just laughing, yeah. Oh my god. So who is here with us now? Did you like the fact that he was laughing? Or did that make you upset?
Are you still here? Yes. Okay. Thank you. That is a long yes. Look at that. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Can you tell us something about yourself? I'm going to sit back down. Oh. We heard that there's a few people that passed away in this room. Can you maybe tell us the names of any of those people that passed away in here? Are you still in this room with us? Can you just let us know? Maybe you're just observing what we're doing. Oh, wow. Thank you for doing that. That is really weird. It doesn't go off for a while. I, I ask it to basically light up that device if they're still in this room, maybe they're just observing us, and then it actually goes off. Right. So like, we have something that is definitely intelligent in this room with us right now. And oh, yeah, the thanks. cat ball is going off now. Thanks for doing the cat ball again. Yeah, thank you. Oh. And it just goes off. It didn't keep going off like last time. No. We, we want you to know that, that we really seriously appreciate you taking your time, whatever you call it in your realm, to communicate with us. Thank you for using these devices. It's really strange. It's very much wavy as far as his activity in this room. Like you'll ask questions and then it just everything just kind of goes off and then it just goes quiet and then it goes off again. Right. It's... It's almost like it's cautious to further communicate, but then, you know, when you're saying like, oh, are you still here? It will confirm it is still in this room. Like, it's cautious to talk and observant to what we're doing. It's what, I mean, that's just the vibe I'm getting kind of like from this, you know? Yeah. I think we're gonna move on. Is that okay? I'll ask you one more time. If you don't answer me, that's just going to indicate that you are not here. Are you still here with us? All right, we're going to leave. Is that okay? Turn it off. Okay. Okay, we will. Ghost who just literally said, turn it off when Wes said, we're going to get ready to leave. <laughs> All right, we're going to turn off our devices in this pastor's room, um, but we've had some really cool responses in this room. Uh, Wes, what did you think about all that? I think it was great. It's awesome. I'm just glad to hear from them. Yeah. Glad to know they're here. Cutting off the camera now. Okay, so right now we are upstairs in the blue room. This is the room that has the hole in the floor. So we put a REM pod right next to the hole um, to see if we could get it to go off. We're gonna be doing a ghost tube lens session. So Connor's listening to white noise. He cannot hear us right now. And he is watching Sia and he's going to describe to us anything that comes through there that he sees. So I'm going to tap him to let him know we're ready. So if there's anybody upstairs with us that may have followed us from downstairs or from the pastor's room, we'd like you to use the weird looking glasses that Connor's got on and show us anything that you are able to show us. So, could you show Connor what you look like? And you guys can feel free to ask questions as well if you look like. Okay. Yes, is there anybody up here in this room besides us four that would like us to know you're here? 
It just said stars in Spirit Box. Stars. How do you feel about us being up here now? Are you happy? Do you have a message you would like to show us? It said Tiffany? On the sphere box, there's an image coming through right now. It's a a viol a violin, I think, or one of those kind of instruments. They did do a lot of um, musical things here. Would you like to come and hang out with us in this room right now? The child, the sphere box said. Is there a, a little boy or girl who wants to come in here? Can you show us a picture of what you look like? Thank you. Over by the wall in the corner, there is a hole in the floor. There is a crayon in that hole. Did you leave that crayon there? Who put that crayon in there? Are you still here with us? There's an image. Oh God, this is actually really creepy. It's like spirits. What's interesting about that is earlier on I said, welcome to the spirit world. Yeah. Like there's, like it's telling us there's a lot of them here. And you just asked, well, were they still here? Yeah. And he's getting this picture. Is it? Are there lots and lots of spirits here? Is this place a portal? Here's a question. Is this a place where spirits can come and go? Help. What do you need help with? How do you feel right now? Can you show us a picture of what kind of mood you're in? Death, death house? Death house. Dead. Why would you say death house for? Is there a reason for that? Are you still here with us or have you moved to another room? Be nice to the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say be nice to the ladies? It's a gift. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what? Our father. Another picture. Man, it looks like a tunnel, I think. It's kind of weird. But there's a light coming down here, like a light at the end of the tunnel. That would go more with religious things. Yeah. Or like walking into the light. Right. If like you die. pass away, some people say they see a tunnel mm -hmm. and a light at the end. Well, he did say what? Well, you'll see, you'll see our father or something. Mm -hmm. That sounds kind of religious to me. Like yeah, you, father, yeah. yeah, you, you die, you're gonna see God. Allowing people. Allowing people to do what? Go to church? Allowing people to stay in the house? What are you trying to tell us? Varys. Do you have any more information than Varys? From that side. Okay, what's from that side? There's another image coming through right now. It's so strange. There's one person that's like this and then there's like t's that almost look like they're almost crosses on the ground so if it's got crosses it's something religious or it's like a graveyard or something is that what you mean by death house you're talking about a graveyard remember creep remember creep are you buried here somewhere on the property 
stop. Yeah, have we asked too many questions? Why do you want us to stop? For a minute. There's a picture. Oh my God. It's a man. He's on a card of some sort. Is it? It looks like. It almost looks like an anime picture, honestly. Is that the creep? Is there somebody here that's that's creepy? That's not supposed to be here. Look up. Is he in the attic? Is there a creep in the attic? It's a message. Is he hiding in the attic? Where is the creep right now? Where is he? <laughs> okay, is there anything that you would like to show us before we turn this off? All right, well, I'm gonna pull Connor out. So this is your last chance to show him something. I don't. Okay, everybody, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. We have plenty of videos in our backlog for you to watch. It is spooky season, it's the perfect time to watch all the paranormal videos. And if you guys want to come here and experience the old Savannah house, I'm gonna let Wes tell you how you can book a night here. Uh, yes, you can check us out on Facebook at Old Savannah House BNB, and you can messenger us on Messenger. All right, everybody, we're going to set up some static cameras. Fingers crossed that we capture something. We're gonna go to sleep, and we will see you all in the next episode of Paranormal Encounters. Walk in front of the camera. Look. Wait a second, hang on. You see that blanket?